Sometimes, charts are split into separate parts to better fit on a printed page. In this video, we will join separate charts together to create a single piece. Here in our pattern, we have chart C, which is longer than comfor comfortably fits on a printed page, so the designer has separated it into two parts. I'd like to be able to knit from a single chart along my entire row, so I am going to join these parts back together, forming a single piece. To begin, tap Setup. To create a new chart piece, tap the blue plus and select Chart Piece. I'll pick page 7. First, I need to rotate the page upright. And now, I'll crop to tell KC which chart on this page I want it to find. It doesn't matter what part I start with, so I'm going to start with the longer piece on the bottom. For this chart, I also want to exclude the extra lines outside the chart so that the app can find the true edges of the chart. So I will crop those away. Tap the wand and KC will find the edges of a chart and count the rows and stitches. Always make sure you double check the results. You can also enter the first row and indicate if the chart counts by one or two. Also double check that it correctly found the edges of the chart and that the grid matches the actual chart. You can manually adjust any of the settings if the results aren't correct. Now I'm ready to add the second part. To do this, I will tap Join bottom right. I want to add a new piece and I can pick any page and in this case I want page 7. Just like with the first part, I need to rotate it. And I'll crop to indicate which chart I want this time. Then tap the wand and double check the results. Now that I've got my second part cropped, I need to align it with the first part. So I will tap Align at the top. Here, my new part is shown with a border so I can easily see what I'm adding. To reposition the new part, drag it around on the page. You can also zoom and scroll to get a good look and make sure things match up. If you aren't happy with how things look, you can tap Edit again to change your crop or tap the back button to leave join entirely without saving. It is important to take your time here since once you tap save, it can't be undone. Once you have things aligned the way you'd like, tap save. Here, you can see the assembled chart. This process of joining can be done as many times as you need to create a complete piece. If you need to add the same part several times, be sure to watch the templates tutorial. Let's tap Knit. Here we can see our chart. We can use a sliding stitch marker to track our progress as we knit along a row. And there are double tap zones on the edges to shift from side to side. And when knitting in the round, you can use the Row Reset option in Edit to quickly return to the start of a row every time you advance your row marker. Happy knitting!